Hi guys, this is Christian Deco. I'm a paraglider pilot like you. I uh, fly an Enzo and uh, I really need it uh, to be trimmed every time I go to a competition. And uh, actually I trim it every like 20 uh, or so hours. It's recommended uh, to be trimmed uh, uh, every 50 hours, but uh, I'm a freak, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, present you the Model 3, which is a combination uh, and uh, let's say a compromise between the Model 1 and the... Uh, okay, so this is the guide, a cheaper guide, that I use for the Model 2 uh, comparing to this rail guide that I, I use for Model 1. So this is actually for Model 3. So this is used for Model 3, this is used for Model 2. This costs like a third of the price of this one and the most important thing, uh, as you may know, this carrier is uh, also very expensive. So this by itself adds like uh, 7 to 80 uh, euros into the Model 1's price. So, subtracting uh, the price of the rail and the carrier, um, we've got a cheaper model here that, have, uh, that has the advantages uh, of this one but uh, it's less precise, okay? Less precise because here you have a dragging force. This dragging force will introduce uh, in those very thin lines, like one or two millimeters, but it's like, um, it's a very not predictable error. Okay, let's pull this apart and let's uh, have a closer look to this one. Okay, so, You've got uh, the, the guide and the Teflon uh, patinas, I don't know how to call them. The, these, uh, these are Teflon or whatever you call it. In <laughs> okay, you, you put here the, the line, the, the mounting point on the canopy. Uh, I mounted uh, a very small Bosch here. As you can see, it fits very well and is very stable here. Okay, you cannot change it pos its position with the uh, with the uh, with your thumb whenever you're measuring. So you drag, and let's see, you maintain the laser point in, th in in the same position. Okay, and uh, the other component, the very important, model two. So this is model three, which combines the model two and this. Uh, rail here and the carrier okay so as you may know from the previous uh, video about uh, model 2 this is a very precise and portable uh, device for line measuring um, it has uh, some advantages uh, that um, i don't think any other uh, line measuring on the market have uh, which are zero degrees with the uh, horizontal here it's very important. I see very good manufacturers that put here an angle. It's very wrong because it introduces a cosinus into the force. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, an error uh, generator, okay, if you don't have zero degrees here. Another, another very uh, important thing is zero drag here into the pulley. This pulley uh, will guide uh, will guide you to the five kilograms um, uh, pretensioning uh, weight. Very important, 90 degrees here, exactly 90 degrees, which is uh, which I achieved. Very simple with this uh, aluminium body, which is perfectly measured 90 degrees. Okay, and another thing is very low drag here. And the very important thing is not the drag itself, you, the force you use to move this plate. It's important as well. But the most important thing is the force that you use to break, to break the stationary dragging force. This is the most important thing. Um, well, yes, I'm a geek. Like I, I studied a lot of physics, uh, and I'm an engineer. And uh, um, yes, this uh, this bothers me whenever I see an instrument that moves good, moves uh, smooth, let's say, but has a lot of dragging force here. Because imagine you, you measure an elastic. 
before you start moving this, uh, you have to apply that bigger force to break the friction here. Okay, so th that is an error generator as well. So with uh, these rollers, with this guide, with 90 degrees here, with zero degrees here, I uh, I think I made a dream trimmer. <laughs> Uh, you find uh, the price, uh, you find um, the order details, uh, payment details and delivery details and everything uh, into the description of this video. Uh, thank you very much.